Good evening everyone, this is Mildita and I'm back again. And our topic for today is ECG, which is electrocardiogram, and that is the heart's electrical activity. Where do you see your ECG, guys? Of course, from the cardiac monitor screen and your ECG machine record. To start your cardiac monitoring, you need your electrodes, ECG leads with the wires, the cables to the monitor. Before you apply your electrodes, be sure that the skin is clean, no hair, no oil. Because these electrodes are conductive pads and they will record the electrical activity of the heart. The ECG leads, what's the role? Well, if we say that the electrodes will record the electrical activity of the heart, the ECG leads is more serious. They will analyze the recorded activity and the bottom line, we have a graphical description of the electrical activity. There are two planes to view the heart. We have the frontal plane and the cross-sectional plane. The frontal plane uses leaflets. We have the bipolar leaflets and the unipolar leaflets. The bipolar leaflets has negative electrode and positive, and these are leads one, two, and three. Leads one with the left arm positive, right arm is negative. Lead two, left leg positive, right arm negative. Lead three, left leg positive, left arm negative. How about these unipolar lymph leads? The unipolar lymph leads has only one electrode and they are all positive. We have the augmented voltage right arm, augmented voltage left arm, augmented voltage left foot. Now to create and a negative electrode, they have to convert two electrodes to become negative. And that's how they do it. So these lymph leads are used or utilized by the frontal plane to view the heart. And they mix, they combine in here and they come up with this. How about if you want to check the deeper part of the heart? Well, you have to utilize the cross-sectional plane view. Using your vector leads from V1 to V6, and the other name for chest leads are precordial leads. So the V1, actually they are located, the electrodes is placed on the fourth intercostal space and that's two centimeter to the right sternum. For the B2, it's on the right, on the left side, same in fourth intercostal space. And there's the V3, which is midway between V2 and V4. And for the B4, 5 and 6, they're all located on the fifth intercostal space. B4 is actually left midclavicular line. B5 is left anterior axillary line. And V6 is left mid axillary line. So these are the planes needed by the heart to be viewed. So when you say frontal, these um, leads, they said they are cameras, they're, but they're more than cameras. They're actually looking at the heart front. But this one here is cross-sectional. It's deeper. Now with cardiac monitoring, there are two ways to do that. We have the hard wire and the telemetry. The hard wire cardiac monitoring are for patients that are compromised, respiratory-wise, and cardiac. So they're better off hardwire cardiac monitoring. They're more in bed. And in here, we utilize five electrodes here. So the left arm electrode that goes to the second intercostal space, left. The right arm goes to the right, second intercostal space. And there's the vector one, which is the right fourth intercostal space. And the left leg is the left eighth intercostal space. And the right leg is the right eighth intercostal space. 
So those are the placement of the electrodes for this hardwire monitoring. And we have here a cardiac monitor mounted in the wall. And it gives us also strips if you want to see something. And you can hook up blood pressure, pressures, any kind of pressures, everything there is accessible. Now, these patients are compromised, so they're not ready yet for, you know, to get up or anything. So it takes time. But for telemetry patients, they are stable and some of them are starting to recover. The lead placements are the same as that of the hard wire. The difference is it has a, they have a pouch with their telemetry box or unit inside. It has a battery, which is good for a day and a half. And when the tracing is flat, either the patient moves farther away, the battery is dead, or something is happening to the patient. So be sure that you communicate well with the patient. Some of them have the urge to smoke or want to do something, just be on the lookout. They can do that. Okay, and the rhythm here from the hard wire and from the telemetry, you can see that on the central cardiac monitor. Nurses are vigilant in monitoring the rhythms and be sure that nothing is missed. What else could give us a view of your ECG? And I just mentioned the 12 lead ECG here. And um, the electrodes are applied for the lymph leads. They're applied on the right arm, left arm, right leg, and the left leg. But for these chest uh, electrodes, I mentioned already that they're from V1 to V6. Okay. So all the leads, there are actually a total of 12 leads but we have 10 electrodes. So they are viewing the same electrical, electrical activity. All of them, the 12 leads, are viewing the electrical, there's one electrical activity to be viewed here by all of these 12 leads, but they are coming from different angles. So it's so important also with regards to the electrode placement that you will mark the chains because that will also change your baseline. Be sure that you document that in the nurse's notes, where you put it so that you will not be wondering why there is a change. Okay, I hope it gives some information. And um, if you think this is an interesting topic, you can press the like or you can, and you can subscribe with no fee. Again, till next time. Thank you.